In this problem, we start by having a committee. The committee is broken down into having eight men and seven women for a total of 15 members. The question wants us to assign three tasks such that both men and women are given assignments. So we have to keep in mind here that this is a problem in which order matters. We are assigning a title to these three people that we're, uh, that we're choosing here. So it's not enough to know what three people are you choosing, you also have to know what task they have been assigned to. All right, so if we look at this thing then, we have to identify a key idea here, which is that because it's not enough to know which three people are chosen, but also what tasks those people are having, it's difficult to choose some men and some women and then figure out which are the men tasks and which tasks are the women tasks and then figure out which men and which women fill the tasks. I know that sounds like a mouthful. An easier thing to do here would be to say, perhaps we should figure out all the ways that I can't get both men and women. Now why would that be shorter? Well, think about this. If you choose all men, you eliminate the possibility of having to figure out which tasks are men's tasks. You just simply choose the three men and assign them to tasks. Likewise, if we're trying to figure out all the women's tasks. Again, there's no issue of, well, which jobs are the jobs for girls, and then we have to pick the actual girls for the job. So what we want to do here is utilize the complement. We want to start off by saying, let's take a look at all the possible ways to assign three tasks to anybody, regardless of gender. So there'd be 15 available people. We select three of them for the tasks. Our permutation, of course, order mattering in this case. The complement means you subtract away the unfavorable outcomes. So one unfavorable outcome is that we end up with all guys. All right, so how many ways are there for us to get all guys? There are eight available guys. Choose three. This tells us you got all men. Okay. Any other unfavorable results? Yes, another unfavorable result would be that you get all women. So we'd subtract this away, and we'd say permutation 7, available women, choose 3. This gets us all women. So let's be clear about what we've done here. Our first permutation is getting us all the possible results without any uh, without respect to whether or not we got guys or girls. So this is anything that could happen every possible result that could happen. Okay. This permutation represents that all men are filling the tasks. Okay. This is telling you that all women have filled the tasks. So keep in mind, if we look at all the possible results, but then we take away the results that have all men, and we take away the results that have all women, what must we be left with? Well, results that have both men and women being given assignments. Okay, so permutation 15 choose 3. 15 times 14 times 13. Permutation 8 choose 3. 8 times 7 times 6. 7 choose 3. 7 times 6 times 5. Okay. All right, so 15, 14, and 13. This got us 27, 30 minus 8 times 7 times 6, 336 minus 7 times 6 times 5. It's 210. All right, so we take our 2730 minus 336 minus 210. We get 2,184. That's how many ways we can assign these three tasks such that we get both men and women.